Hello everyone, welcome back to more Understand. This time, no no preamble. I don't have any announcements to make about Jonathan Blow or board games. Just want to get into 4-1, and I don't understand exactly what this is all about. Symmetry? Two things being equal? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, that's allowed. Start, square, start circle, end square, yeah, it seems very clear. Don't go through triangle, uh-huh. And then something else. Fair enough. What's the something else? Isn't it like impossible to satisfy? Like, I can't find out any. Oh, well, that's not true. I could find out things about the third, the fourth rule here. There's no way to solve the puzzle while learning about the fourth rule, but I could, for example, do that and see if it satisfies the fourth rule or that. Thing is, none of them seem to. This probably will, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Are you finally making me do symmetry? I wanted to do symmetry all this time. Um, so this is allowed. The hint on this level is like, maybe it's about corners? I don't know. Doesn't seem clear how that could be. These are both fine. This is not? Yeah. Okay, don't know why exactly yet. This is no good, yeah, not surprising. This is fine, I'm sure, yeah, aside from not ending on square. Huh. This would satisfy the fourth rule, of course, but it doesn't start on the circle. This fourth rule is a mystery. It's some new kind of thing, obviously, that we, we haven't seen in any of the previous puzzles. This is the, the theme of four, probably. This also doesn't satisfy the fourth rule, but this does. Specifically that, huh? I think the fourth rule cares somehow about the triangle. I'm not sure, but like there's the obvious, there's a difference between this, which satisfies the rule, and this, which also does, and this doesn't, and likewise in the other direction. So for whatever reason, a two, a segment of length two that includes a triangle is no good, but a segment of length two that includes a different shape is okay. Now that doesn't mean the triangles are necessarily the key facet here. It could be about dividing the grid, for example. Yeah, that's interesting. So this pattern of empty space into square was legal here for the fourth rule, but is not here. I mean, it seems like it's something about the shape of the line, maybe. Or the shape of the remaining region with the triangle in it, maybe? Oh, are we doing perfect squares? This triangle is in a region of size one, four, nine. 
But I can't do 16. Maybe I could do 9, though. I don't think I can, actually. Uh, oh, I see. If I... That's 8. What if I put it in a region of size 9 and just broke the other rules? Of course we know that's allowed. I've done that before. I could include it in the same region as these guys, I guess, right? No, because there's no room. Oh, but maybe a region of size four would do it. No. Wait, what's the third rule? I thought it was no touching the triangles. But I haven't satisfied the third rule here. Only one region? Maybe. Be only one region. Then this would be invalid. Now here there's still only one region and rule three is not satisfied. Let's skip ahead to puzzle five and see if there's some insight that, that I can get from that. Okay. Each open region contains a triangle, maybe? God, there's a lot of puzzles here, which is fine. I just wish I knew what was going on. The hint is, like, I don't understand it. Shapes of regions? This doesn't have any particularly interesting shape. Hmm. It's sort of interesting that this forms a, a square and that the, the line being cut out of it is what makes, like, you could add that to make another square. But that's kind of the same thing as saying, look, the, the grid is square shaped. I, well, duh, but I can't affect that. And all of the regions that I'm being given are square-shaped, except the first one. And I would have thought this would, like, if they wanted to teach me the square rule, they would have removed this rightmost column and put the square here, and then we would do this to get the one and two squares. This is no good, right? No, it is good. Oh, of course, it's the same. So 
I still, I, like, I hadn't even figured out the third rule, really, or the fourth. I thought I knew that the third rule was don't touch any triangles, because as soon as I touch a triangle, the rule is broken. But... There was a, a thing I tried here, I thought, that didn't touch any triangles and still broke the third rule. Maybe I'm misremembering. There we go. Now, why didn't I try this before? I mean, the triangle is inside a square-shaped region. I get that. Is that really all there is? Did I not try that before? Maybe I tried to do it, but it wasn't that like it broke the rule. It was that I couldn't construct such a shape. Yeah, I couldn't fit this triangle well, no, because just drawing the line straight down from the circle to the square. Ah, no, that doesn't work. That puts it in a three by four. So maybe each triangle has to be in a square shaped region. And that's enough to somehow satisfy both rules three and four. So that would be, I mean, I can't do that here, can I? Yeah, I can. They can't be in the same square-sized region, but they can each be in a square-sized region. Okay. I guess I need to go here, don't I, at some point? Because otherwise they'll be in the same region, and I don't think that's likely to be allowed. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty straightforward one. If they'd give me this one sooner, I feel like it would have been easier to figure out what's going on. Because there's only one reasonable way to do this, I feel like. Well, there's a few. You could like try this, or like this, but pretty soon you end up putting a mark here. And once you do, there's just this and this, and the whole puzzle is like, oh, okay. Um... So this shouldn't work, right? I think rule three must be like no empty regions or something. And rule four is the rule that triangles have to be in square regions. Now, do they have to be in actually regions that are square or just a square number of items? I guess I can't even put it in a two by two at this point. So can't really test that theory. Ah, now they're both in squares of size two, okay. This is an interesting triangle because I can't fill in both this square and this square. So one of them is open. So it has to be a triangle, a, a square size at least two. Could it be a square size three? No, because there's no way to close off such a square. So it must be a square of size two and it has to, the square has to be this, or symmetrically this. And that doesn't, however, mean that I have to actually go down here just yet. In fact, I almost certainly don't, because then how am I going to fill in this area? So it seems like I'm meant to do something like this, or this. Mm, now I can't finish this square. Try. There we go. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that was a, that was tough for an introductory world. I'm, I'm definitely making less progress every video. Oh my god, there's so many more areas. Please. I don't, I don't think I'm likely to do this entire game on camera. It's just there's too much. Okay, so the idea of 4-1 was putting, was making square-shaped regions. Now, maybe we're asking about rectangular regions? Right, because this is not a rectangle and rule 4 is not satisfied. This is a rectangle, and rule four is satisfied. This is a square, which not totally clear how it would feel about that. But suppose I did this. This is another rectangle, and rule four is still satisfied. So, okay. I guess we want this then. This would be a square. Oh, also it would break. This this would be a bad bad area. Whoa. Uh, like this? No. Rule four is satisfied here, huh? All regions are rectangular, not the one that contains the, the triangle, but all of them. Maybe not rectangular, but their shape, they're one thick. They're just a straight line. Uh, so we're pretty sure to start on circle, end on square are the first two rules. The fourth rule seems to be about the shape of the remaining regions. And the third rule, I mean, probably is about don't go through triangles. Okay. Yeah, so we know this is an acceptable shape for a triangle to be in. Is this okay? No. Oh, this is the same shape again, of course. Easy. Have they all been two by one triangles? No, there's a three by one, wasn't there? No, they're all two by ones. Okay, interesting. There are no triangles here, so we need to fill the area completely or what? Or leave a two by one area, three by one area, sure. So it's telling me that it's okay to have leftover regions with no triangles in them, provided they're the right shape. Well, this is never going to do. I was trying to leave the region at the top there, but not for any specific reason. Yeah, this is no good. So this, this would be legal, except for the problem that it doesn't end at the square. That's good to know. Doesn't that mean I can do this then? Okay. Um, 
So if this guy has to be in a rectangular region, it means there definitely has to be a point here, doesn't there? A line, rather? Because otherwise it would be part of a, a square. Well, we, we still haven't narrowed down, I guess, whether a region that's like three by two would be legal. All of our regions so far have been one thick. And we don't know whether that's required or just like how I've done it. It's sort of hard to prove either way, I think. I haven't had many chances to make larger areas. Actually, interesting question. How do you get from here to here? You kind of have to go around one of the triangles, right? And so I guess this would be fine. The triangle's in a two by one, which we've learned is okay. Yeah, maybe like that. Uh huh. Ah, uh, hang on, I do have to block these off from each other. Mmm, this isn't uh, making the triangle, the top left triangle happy. This might though. Yeah, we learned that three by ones are okay. So I came away from this one not actually understanding the rules. Like I solved it, but I don't know what happened. Every... I just learned that two by one and three by one shapes were okay. And I don't know if that was like a special rule about two by one and three by one shapes or about n by ones or about rectangles. There's just too many questions. Four three it says do that. No rectangles, maybe. No touching shapes. Huh. This meets two separate rules. Now this is interesting because the second rule is satisfied here. No regions of a particular shape could be the second rule, and here we have no regions at all. First rule is touch no shapes. Third rule, not sure. So we're still not allowed to touch that. There, yes. We, 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 we know this is a good shape of a region. And so this should be fine. Uh, there you go, yeah. And I guess each circle has to be part of a single such region, maybe? I can't quite finish it in the right way, having started here. But I can't see where I could move my start point to allow me to do that. Do what I want. Hmm. 
Right, I can put it up here. But once I get here, I'm kind of stuck, right? I guess it was worth checking whether this kind of shape is allowed. But so far, everything I've seen says the shape has to look exactly like this. Oh, this reminds me of the end of the 3.x with the question mark world where I just spent forever and was always off by one on parity until I realized I could move the starting point after starting. But here, obviously, I can't do that. It just seems really hard to get all the corners. Yeah. I don't think I can like start here, for example. Can I? Maybe I can. Nope, run into the same problem. It can't just be a three by one strip like before, can it? No. It seems like it has to be this shape. It's kind of stunted Tetris piece. Hmm. Is there some way I can use this level to prove that theorem? I don't think so. Actually, it seems like it's impossible to do for both of them here. Like if they're both going to be that L shape, we have to have a square here, which means we have to start there. And then we have to go here and here, and then it's impossible, right? So I mean, unsurprisingly, I'm not under, I, I don't correctly have the idea of what we're doing. Wait a minute. The second rule doesn't like this, but it does like this. So I guess the second rule is exactly one circle to a region, which I had sort of been assuming anyway. Yeah, this breaks the second rule, for example, whereas this shouldn't, or this shouldn't, yeah. I think that's the second rule, exactly one circle to a region. But the third rule, yeah, let that, that seems to match up for the second rule anyway. Uh, what about this? This breaks the second rule. This doesn't? Okay. So I think that is an accurate understanding of the second rule. But that third rule, Aha! So what did I do here that was so much smarter than what I was doing before? Nothing really. I just drew the shape differently and it happened to turn out that I could fit this shape into it. <laughs> I don't know why. 
But that's sort of upsetting because, like, I proved that that can't work on this shape. I, it didn't. Like, how on earth could it? There's so many spaces you absolutely must cover if you want that shape. And they conflict with each other. You can't have this twice. There's no way to loop back around to here. Much less get all three of these. Is it somehow legal to combine them in some way? Doesn't seem like it. So if this is part of one of those shapes, then this has to be filled in, right? Yeah. And likewise, this corner. If I just go like straight through, I obviously run into some problems, right? Because in order to come for this corner to be filled, I have to come out through another corner, right? And whichever side I come out through, hmm. well, we could have this shape. In which case, I would have to start here and end here. That's possible, I think. We can't have that shape. We could have this or this. Thing is, if I have this shape, I'm not sure how I can outline it without making this guy upset. Because I need all of these squares to be filled in. Uh, maybe that's okay. Well, hmm. Like that, right? Hmm. Starting here. There. So maybe it really is as simple as you have to draw this shape, even though, like, I looked at this one and it's guaranteed impossible, right? Like, genuinely cannot be done. I need three starting points and I only get two, three endpoints. One, one to make this shape, one to make this shape, and they have to both include here. And there's still, I mean, even if I had that ability, I would still have problems with this square, I think. This one's killing me. Is this? I mean, I don't know. I guess it's not necessarily easy to fill in, huh? Yeah, the problem with this is there's now way too many um, nooks and crannies. All right, I think, I think I need to take a break. 
and come back to this one another time. So this is going to be the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.